In this video, we're going to take a look at a pretty common concept in Python that a lot of programmers use when getting input. And this is converting a single line of user input into a list of integers. So typically when you want to get integer input, you're going to use this input function. But the issue with the input function is that it's going to return a string. So in this case, if I entered 152637 as my input separated by spaces, it's going to return the string 152637 with the spaces. So this is not going to be a list of integers. It's going to be a single string. And that's an issue if we want to do any mathematical manipulation with these numbers, such as averaging or adding or anything other than that. So what exactly can we do to resolve this? Well, there's a simple one liner in Python that we can do to convert a single line of user input into a list of integers. So let's first pull a few definitions that we're going to use to write this code. So here we have a list of Python syntax that we can use to write this one liner in Python. So we have the map function, which takes in a function and an iterable as input and returns a generator object where every element is modified in some way from its corresponding element in iterable. And then I have another function called list and this list function casts any object to a list if possible. If it's not possible, we'll get an error. And this object parameter is usually some sort of generator object or collection. And then we have the int function and that type casts any value into an int. And again, this is if possible. If it's not possible, we're going to get an error. And then our fourth function that we can use here is the input function. Again, this is going to be important for actually getting our input and this will return some string. And of course, prompt is an optional parameter. We don't actually have to prompt the user for anything. And then our last function is actually a behavior of the string type. So it's the split function and it takes in a delimiter. A delimiter is basically some sort of separator. So for example, in a phrase, a delimiter might be spaces. So this function is going to split this particular string into a list of strings at every occurrence of the specified delimiter. And as we'll see later, this is going to become important in actually separating the components of the string. So the first thing to do is to build up from scratch our Python expression. So the first thing we're going to want to do is do input. So we can say input and we don't need any parameters as our prompt, but we can include it if we want. Now, once we have that input, we have a string. So this right here is currently a string. Now, the first step to actually converting this to a list of integers is to split the string. And so we want to split the string using this split function that we defined here. So we can say dot split. And then our delimiter is going to be anything that you want. So in our case, we want to split at an empty space. So we'll just have that one character here. Now this overall code segment returns a list of strings. So for example, if I had the input one, five, two, where this entire thing is a string, then when I run the split function on it with a space as my delimiter, I'm going to end up with a list such as one, five, and two. Now we're not done with this yet. So the issue with this is that even though we have a list of items, these items aren't actually integers, they're still strings. So we want to be able to convert these items themselves into integers. So the way we're going to do that is through the map function. And again, the map function takes in some iterable like a list as input. And for every element in that list, it's going to do some sort of modification and assign that modification to its corresponding spot in a totally new list or a, actually a totally new generator object. And then it's going to return that generator object. So here in our original code that we've written so far, we can run the map function. So we'll say map, and then we're going to need some sort of function. We'll get to that later. But then our iterable is just going to be input dot split at our delimiter. And then we can just close this. So let's move this to the center now and let's figure out what we want our function to be. So the function that we're going to use is going to be applied to every item in our iterable. So what do we want to do to every item in our list that we've generated through the split function? Well, we want to convert every string into an integer. So we can use this int function up here. So we can just say int and it'll just run that function. And so we can just move everything down a little bit 
just reorganize and what we have as a result is a mapped generator object where every item in the generator is an integer. Now the last thing to do is to actually convert this into a list because map returns a generator object. It doesn't return a list. So we actually have to convert it into a list to make it usable. So our last step is to use this list function and we'll say list parentheses and close parentheses and that should be all we have to do. So this one liner is going to return a list of the split integers and all of the items are going to be integers themselves. So let's go ahead and see this in action. So here we have a blank code window. So let's just go ahead and test our code that we wrote up earlier and see if it actually works. So in order to get input, we're going to probably want some variable to store this. So let's call this numbers. This is just going to be a list of integers. So we set numbers equal to, and so we do list map int, so that's the function, and then the iterable is input dot split at a space, and that should be all we have to write there. And so numbers should now be a list of integers. And so we can test this by doing something that's specific to integers. So maybe something like let product is equal to one. And then we can say for i in numbers, prod times equals i. And so that should multiply every number in numbers to prod. And then we can just print prod. And that'll print the product of all the numbers in our list. And before we actually run this, let's also just print numbers just to see that we have a list of integers. So now we can go ahead and test this code. So we can say python3 convert input int.py. And so now we have to enter some input. So let's say we entered 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7. And we get as output that we have a list containing all the integers from 1 to 7. And we get that the product is 1260. Now, just to appreciate why this worked the way it did, let's go ahead and get our input as if we did not actually do anything to it. So let's just say orig is equal to our input. So we'll take input and we'll just remove it from here and we'll assign it to orig and we'll just put orig down here. And then before we actually do anything here, we'll just print orig. So we'll run this again and we'll enter the same input 152637. And we see that this right here is actually a string. So I can print the type of this. If I say type of orig, we'll see that I get a string. So I can enter 152637. And this is of class string. So obviously it's not what we wanted. So we had to do all this manipulation to actually get it to be a list of integers. So that's it for this video. And I hope this was helpful.